Hey everyone, it's Adam again, and this isn't a normal video I do because it's not repairing or fixing anything, but uh, I figured a lot of you might be interested in uh, how these work and how you hook them up. This is my first uh, one from uh, Amazon. This is the Fire Stick, and it's a, let me just open it up. Um, you can see, looks just like this. It's got a little HDMI, and uh, that's about it and it needs power. You can hook it up from the side. I wasn't sure on how it got power before. Let's see, is there a plug in here? What do we have? Okay, so they give you batteries. That's nice and small. Good job. So this isn't really an unboxing video, but um, I figure a lot of you would be curious on how all this works. Okay, and this is the power cord, so USB goes in there. Now you have an option. If your TV has a USB port in it, you would plug this cable in there. If not, then this is your power cord. Um, there you go. That goes in like that. Now that's all ready to hook up to your TV. They give you a remote and batteries. That's nice. Oh, what's this cable down here? Let's figure. see what that does. Oh. And uh, this is, I paid $39 flat for it. Okay. And uh, HDMI to, oh, okay. This is uh, just an extension. So let's say <clears throat> you're plugging this into your TV, but it's sticking out or it's against the wall. You need more room. All you do is plug this into here and then this into the port. That way you're able to move your stick all around. And uh, anyway, if you've never tried one of these, I've had Roku. This is my first fire stick. So we'll see the difference there. Uh, they're really cool. I wouldn't bother reading directions unless you absolutely have to. They made them uh, short though. Anyway, let's go see how this works. Let's go to the TV. This TV is an older TV. It doesn't have a USB port, so I'm going to need to use the uh, power plug. Right now, I'm just going to drape it down to the wall outlet, but later I'll do a nicer job and uh, plug it in behind the TV. But for now, we'll just plug it in. And I don't need this uh, extension on this type of TV. What do you find? I got... There we go. Okay, like I said, I'll hook up a better outlet down there so it's you don't see a wire going down, but for the sake of this video, it'll be all right for now. Can hide the wires later. All right, so let's turn on the TV and I think this is in HDMI port two. So, yeah, there it is. HDMI two. Searching for your remote. Okay, maybe I have to push a button on this thing. I guess it found it. Press play to start. I'm going to do a quick setup here. English, United States. It's looking for a network. There it is. And that's going to want another password. Okay, it's going to use my account, and uh, that's... Hello, and welcome to your new Amazon Fire TV stick. We want to make sure you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you how to get the most... Well, this is convenient, I guess. Before we... Okay, well that was pretty cool. That uh, plays automatically, help you out. Now, I... Uh, bought this on Amazon Prime and it already knew either through the network or I don't know how maybe they scanned the code of the serial number of this but they knew that I was already a member so I was able to set that up easily top apps and games hmm that's not the YouTube app it looks like somebody else made an app for YouTube. Let's see if there's a YouTube app for this. Top apps, categories. Okay, let's do a search. 
Okay, there's YouTube Plus, and then there's Tube TV, YouTube.com. All right, now let's see what this one is. Developer YouTube.com. So this is the legitimate YouTube. Okay, here's our apps. What's neat about this is you can find videos on your computer and, um, well, I can't do this and talk at the same time. It's kind of hard for some reason. Spelling, <laughs> uh, DIY, there we go. Let's see how this one works. Hey, there I am. Anyway, so there's my channel. Let's click that. There we are. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is, well, might as well show you Prime before I do that. Let's go back, 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 exit YouTube, exit. This is a lot longer than I thought it would be, but hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Okay, so if you're a member of Prime, here's what you're going to get. You might as well see that. Anyway, you can see at the top left of each title, they have this stripe which means that's included in Prime, but we're already in the category of Prime, so all of these are going to have that stripe. But anyway, they, they do a lot of repeats, like look at um, Primetime Movie Genres, Action and Adventure, and then there's the Noah one, and then Top, and then there's the Noah, and then you're going to see it in other categories. So if you, you know, it might be a religious category, then there's Noah again. Um, anyway... It's okay. This kind of stuff is not so great for movies if you like to watch a lot of movies because they're not going to have that many selections. But on kids shows, they seem to have tons of kids shows. So if you got kids, it's worth it. If you don't have kids and you're getting it for the movies, eh. um, And I don't play games on TV, so I don't know anything about that. And sometimes I, I listen to Pandora, so you can download that kind of stuff. Anyway, let me go, let's go to the computer and uh, the phone and I'll show you um, something cool that hopefully works with this that does work with the Roku. We'll see if it works out with this. Okay, I'm going to see how easy it is to send um, videos from the YouTube app on the phone to the Fire Stick. Hopefully it goes seamless. And uh, let's go to my channel, play one of my videos. This is a different channel I have where I make um, game props and swords and stuff out of wood. So let's, uh, let's pick one of these videos. And let's see here you can see at the top of the screen this thing here. There it is. You can see Roku or Beth's Fire Stick. Let's do that one. And push that and let's see if it pulls it up here. It says loading so that looks good. Starts the YouTube app automatically. And that's the YouTube home screen. Is it going to play it automatically or just start the app? So on the Roku, this seems to work flawless. Here it's a bit glitchy. I don't know if it's a problem I have, which I don't think so because it even has the name of the Fire Stick right there. Or uh, So I'll figure that out. So that's a bummer. That's no good. Let's see, I need to go to account settings. Um, where is it? There it is. Down at the bottom, settings. And then click over here, pair device. And it's giving me this code there, which I need to go type on my computer. Right now I am in my office, uh, but I have a wireless mic, so that's why you can still he hear me. You go to your YouTube account, you sign in, you go to your account settings, down at the bottom of the list in account settings it says connect to TVs, and click that, and then you type in the code, which I'm going to do now. All right, now it says it's connected. Now I'm going to send a video to the TV. All right, well that worked. That started playing automatically. In this week's video, we're going to make a Minecraft game. All right. Pajama. 
Let me turn this down. Okay, well, I think that's it. I gotta figure out what's wrong with the phone. It could just be a, some sort of glitchy thing or I might have to pair it up again. But anyway, you can see how it works. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, again, this is new to me, but it's really easy to use. I don't think you'll have any trouble with it. Um, yeah, and it's cheap too. And you don't have to have Prime to use this. You don't have to pay for a service. You can get this, not use Prime, and then just download any apps like YouTube or whatever you want and uh, use it that way. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to support this channel, go ahead and click the uh, support button. And uh, it's much appreciated. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Have an awesome day. Goodbye.